What's up, y'all? It's Ty. In this video today, we're going to be going over and talking about settings in NBA 2K25, my team, and how you guys can save your settings in the menus before the game. That way, you don't have to, each and every game, pause the game, worry about getting your settings right, any of those things. They're automatically going to save before the game does begin. Now, if you want each and every one of my normal settings from controller settings to the customizable HUD, make sure to go watch my settings video that is up on the channel. In this video today, we're not gonna be giving, like you guys can probably see my settings, but I'm not gonna be going over them one by one, talking about what the best settings are for you guys to be running now do under two i do wanted to apologize for you guys my voice is absolutely cooked and i do apologize it is what it is i can't do anything about it outside of just hope that it does get better here in the near future so settings wise from your shot meter to all of these other settings make sure that you have these done before the game but the more specific one here is your specific coaching settings and within that coach game plan from your from your bench from your tall lineup from your player minutes to your coach settings all of these things you can adjust pre-game which i love i absolutely am a big big fan of this thing because for me it, it it really stunk last year when you had to put your bench in the game and they'd come in the wrong way when you had to load into a game and do all of your offensive settings all of those things now you can change your specific coach game plan from offense to defense, all of these things. So for example, if you had the Bucks playbook equipped and did want to equip the five out play, you could absolutely do this. Let's say within your playbook, you want different plays equipped. You can do that pre-game, which is just so fantastic that you guys can swap out whatever plays you want to run in here instead now again i don't have the bucks playbook so for me i don't necessarily run plays yet but once i do get the bucks playbook i will for sure put five out in here but a lot of people do like running plays and it is so nice that instead of having to go into each and every game that you guys can do it here in the settings all you got to do is go into lineups go into your lineup here go over to coaching go over to coach game plan and you have control over everything now the freelance I'm running right now is the five out freelance. You set it here pre-game, boom. I no longer have to pause the game before the game starts to go in and changes. It's a massive, massive, massive addition. It just really helps the game mode feel smooth that I don't have to pause the game for 30 seconds to a minute each and every game to go adjust things from your plays to your freelances. It's all here. I know a lot of people like different freelances. So you could put the five out there. You could put the Bucks freelance here. You could put whatever other freelance you want to run here. And then in game, you don't have to pause the game to change it. You can uh, go freelance to freelance. Defensive settings. Now, this is one. I still do change these by matchup in the game. But it is nice. You can have your base defensive settings that you specifically want to run pre-game so you don't have to change them so let's say even if i do want to change the on ball off ball pressure the screen coverage from game to game what i don't normally change is stay attached and no help here so these things could also save you a bunch of time in game to have these settings done so then if you do have to pause the game all you have to do is adjust the first initial defensive settings and again I do think you guys could be like a one size fits all with your defensive settings for the most part. It just might depend if you come up against like a really good player that knows what they are doing. It could be way, way, way tougher. But again, it is super helpful to have these done because they only give you, 2K only gives you a minute and a half now in the pause menu in game. So the more you can have done pre-game, that only is going to save you time, but it's also going to help you not have to run out of pauses because again you only get three total pauses they go by really quickly so that is just something to think about next thing here they've got different lineups that you guys can adjust to now i don't know if there's like a bench lineup specifically my bench lineup has been good so far it's just been my first like guys off the bench and they've really done a good job at it so that's what i would do is is try to structure your team in which the first five guys off your bench is your bench lineup. But outside of that, they do allow you to have on-the-fly lineups. So 
even if you don't put your bench in the game, you might be able to adjust this, like this says tall, but maybe you adjust this for your bench lineup as well. And instead of necessarily putting in your bench lineup, you're putting in your tall lineup or quick lineup to run your bench. So you guys can see my starters, right? And the bench I want to run is Adams, Mullen, Tatum, Nance, and Sarge. So I could go in here to my uh, game plan and be like, okay, I'm just going to instead adjust this tall lineup to be my bench lineup instead. In that way, you know what? I don't have to worry about a whole ton as I am adjusting things. Now, it's weird that I can't put Nance in here at the four. Um, just kind of, oh, I can. Yeah, right here. Boom. So now instead of, you know, it being my quote unquote bench, it's my tall lineup, but I can just put this tall lineup in as my bench and it's still on the fly. But you can adjust it and have like different lineups here, which I do think is super important, especially when you are talking about on the fly lineups. That way you don't have to pause the game. You don't have to call a timeout, any of those things. Now, I personally would always use manual subs. So make sure your coach, uh, coach settings are right. I always do use manual subs, but if you do want to, for whatever reason, use auto subs, boom, you can adjust each and every one of your players minutes here in the settings, which I personally am a fan of as well. So each and every setting that you could possibly want is here in the menu. And I absolutely love it. I think as far as, you know, an accessibility stand from an accessibility standpoint, you no longer are going to load into a game and have to wait on your opponent to pause the game for two minutes because they can't. You no longer are going to have to pause the game for a minute because all of your settings should be done pre-game. And I absolutely love that from 2K. They really did a good job, in my opinion, as far as a lot of these accessibility things and just making the game easier for everyone, including myself. I mean, it's so much more fun to load into a game and no longer have to wait multiple minutes for my opponent to go through, do all his settings, all of those types of things. So that's just kind of for me how I think about things, how I am enjoying the game a little bit more. And I think, sure, people can, 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 can critique certain things that 2K have done throughout the game mode so far. Like, I'm not going to sit up here in front of you guys and say the game has been perfect. But I do think as far as like the accessibility standpoint, a lot of these other things are super, super, super helpful. So definitely, guys, I would take the time to go through, do your coach game plan. Again, these are just my base settings. I'm not going to make a video on them yet because I don't necessarily love these settings yet, but those are my base settings. But again, now I don't have to load into the game and pause and set my freelance, pause and set my play to all of these things pre-game because they're already done. And it is something that is super, super, super helpful, especially for me, guys, when I do end up getting the Bucks playbook. I, not this Bucks, the normal Bucks playbook. Boom, I'll have my five out play. And then if I do want to, let's say, run that five out play, it'll already be equipped again pregame, and I won't have to go through and set all that. So I do give credit to 2K for these types of adjustments. It makes it so much easier and enjoyable to play the game. They have done some very positive things this year. So I know a lot of people might be upset at gameplay, might be upset at so many un unsellables in the game modes. And yes, there are problems in the game modes. I'm not going to sit here and act like the game is perfect when it absolutely is not. But we got to give credit when 2K does things well. And that is one of the things that 2K has done really, really, really well. So for me, I'm going to just continue to uh, monitor the auction house, obviously continue to try to make MT, all of those types of things. And that is, in my opinion right now, the best way to make MT is from sniping. I'll have a sniping video on my channel here in the next couple of days to hopefully help you guys out as well. But I do believe like these these accessibility things for helping the community out is definitely uh, definitely super helpful for the average player. And again, the settings that you can do pre-game is a big, big, big part of it. So hopefully, uh, you know, it helps you guys out. Hopefully it helps you guys enjoy the game. But we do have to give 2K credit when they get things right. And they have. Get all your settings done pregame, and you're going to save yourself time. You're going to save your opponent time. And hopefully, if everybody does this, it's just going to be a much faster uh, gameplay experience that each and every person can enjoy. So don't feel bad if you do have to pause the game to adjust some settings, but try to have these done pregame just to make it an, a more enjoyable experience. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.